morning. This is Melissa with the StockSwish.com and welcome. I thought I would do a review of this chart of joy because I've been having this discussion with different traders about machines in the market and, and tonight's lecture was on institutional money in the market. And someone had actually asked in the lecture, and I think it was after the recording had ended, um, that, you know, these institutions are taking positions and they're sucking people in so that they can take more, get out, or do whatever they want to do. That's not correct, and I'm going to use this chart to actually explain it. First things first, machines exist in the market. They exist in the market. They're part of the market. They're going to become more prevalent in the market. They're not going away. In fact, there's going to be more machines. So if you're going to be a trader investor in the stock market, in the U.S. stock market, machines are part of it. They've been part of it. They've actually been part of it for a long, long time, and there's going to be more of them. They're not going away. So what does that mean? It means you need to learn how to trade correctly using technical analysis and price. Price, 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 price. It's the numbers. Machines are programmed by people using numbers. And when an institution or a big hedge fund or anyone that has a large position wants to get in a stock, and they have something that's programmed by a machine, their program, let's just say that somebody's in this, I'm just using this as an example right now. Let's just say that somebody's in this joy and they're in it short. The machine is programmed to exit the short long, long time in advance when it gets to the target, whatever the target is for this, for that position holder. So it's not like it's not, they're in it to get you, you know, in trouble in your exits when the machine hits. It was pre programmed long time ago. It could be weeks, it could be months, it could be a lot, years to get out of their position or in a position. Okay, either way, way ahead of time. Okay, so that's how those things work, number one. Number two, the whole idea of institutions or machines being against you and taking positions to, to be against you, it doesn't make sense. And I just want to explain this. If a, it's, let's just pretend you ran a hedge fund, okay? You run a hedge fund and you're running the hedge fund and you want to actually be in joy short. You want to be in short to the joy short to the downside. Let's just pretend you have a target for joy of 30 bucks. Okay. Let's say you are already in this and you want to get in more and you want to get in more at a higher price. Someone was asking this in the webinar and other people have asked me this too. And I'm just using this chart as an example that position holders well, this is what people think. This isn't what really happens, though, okay? Just, just go with me here. That they will create a situation to lift the stock to get people in to buy it, to get other people in to buy it, to lift the stock price up so that they can get in it more at a higher price to short it, to get paid more to 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 get in it, to get it down to the target, to get more of the position at a higher price so they can make more money. That is incorrect. In order to do that, for them to give it a lift, they would have, they're, they're already in it short. They would actually have to buy it and take a position long in the opposite direction that they believe that, that they want to be in it in the first place. They'd have to take a position, a heavy position in it to lift it. They'd be in it long. Then they'd have to do two things then to do what they originally wanted to do if this is how it works, which it's not, but just go with me here. They'd have to sell out of it. Then they'd have to short it. So let's just say they bought it, gave it a lift. Other people then bought it with them and they gave it a lift. The, the institutional money would have to sell out and add and short to move to get in what they wanted to do in the first place. And in doing so, they'd have to take do two things. One, take a position against what they wanted to do, which is take any list risk, which they don't want to do. Number one. And two, they'd have to get out of the long. They'd have to do two things. Sell the long and get in short then to push it down to get it back down to the target that they wanted to get in the first place, which was short because they wanted to be in it short. And in doing so, they would the very essence of them would push the price down. So they take needless risk and they push the price down by having to exit the long and to re-enter as a short, which they're not going to do. And that isn't how it works. It's just not how it works. Do you understand what I'm saying? This is, this, is, this is so important. This is really important to understand. That is not what happens. That is not what happens at all. It isn't what happens at all. Traders are making these buys in here or other monies okay, like smaller hedge funds and things like that, that are making these lifts in here. Institutions don't have to do anything to suck people in if they want to get short in this again. People 
buy in these double bottoms. People buy in higher highs and higher lows. People buy in these things. And institutions don't have to do anything. If they want to get more short of this, they'll just short it. They're not going to take a long position something that they want to short because they're going to have to take a long position, cover the long, and then short it again. And in all of that doing so, they're going to suck their price down and get paid worse. And it's not going to make any sense. And then they take needless risk against themselves that they don't want to do. And they'll never suck enough traders in to get it up where they want to anyways to protect themselves with everything I just said. So that's not how it works, okay? What goes on in these stocks when these things get these lifts is people are buying in here. It's a, this is a terrible buy. The stock's in a downtrend, okay? But people are buying, but not power money, not institutional money, not who's in control of the stock. The stock's in a downtrend. And institutional money is not going to suck people in by buying a stock they want to short. They're probably already in it short anyways. They covered in some here and here, you can see in this. In fact, let's go look at that on the one. So 28. Here. This is, you know, you can see when machines are in the market. But again, these things are happening and are set up to be way, way, way ahead of time in advance. You can see this is a machine generated action that happened here. It was short covering that happened. That's what this is. This isn't buying. The stock gap down and fell under the day. And it's short covering here. So machines exist in the market and they're not going away. You need to learn how to reprice properly to trade with them. And there's nothing wrong with that. It's actually easier to trade based on the numbers than anything else. But the institutions are not doing things in the opposite direction of what they want to do things to suck people in. They don't even need to do it. Traders will do it to themselves because they don't understand how to reprice and they don't understand how to read charts. They don't understand how to read trends and they don't understand how to read gaps. So... You know, and people that are smart and savvy and are managing huge money and doing all these things know that. So, you know, just think about what I'm saying here. This is really, really good information. And this chart was a nice example to explain that. So if you'd like more information or really want to learn how to trade gaps and how to trade for me, then email me at melissa at thestockswish.com. The gap class is September 14th and 15th from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Eastern time. Email me at melissa at thestockswish.com. Thanks, everyone. Have a great night.